good morning. Not done a video in a while. I'll explain at the end of this one the reasons for that. Um, but this morning I was just uh, just driving past Beauty Airfield at the moment. Saw something quite interesting. There's a Bronze Age barrow at the side of the road. Those um, those those burial mounds from two and a half thousand, three thousand years ago. It's had a haircut. Um, it looks like the Forestry Commission have come along and removed a lot of the gorse from the top of it, which is quite interesting to me because I've always felt that there's something on that barrow which could have been connected to the defence of the airfield. So I'm going to park up a Hawkin enclosure, cross the road, go have a look and see what I find. First thing I can see, piece of concrete, but that's not really what I was looking for, but there was obviously some activity here, maybe some short building. Now let's get up onto the barrow. Now, the, I've always suspected, as I said earlier, that there could be something on here connected to the defence of the airfield. So let's have a quick look. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. So you're probably wondering, what is this? Well, this appears to me to be a half pipe piece of sewer. Now, in the war, some of the airfields, the local ones, Ipsley, Holmesley, they'd often do this. They'd take half, like a half pipe piece of concrete, put it into the ground, dig, dig, the, uh, dig the earth out, and then a man could pop in it, and it's a, it turns into a little machine gun position to potentially defend the airfield. And that looks like that is, because you have a slightly high point, don't you, up here? So let's say the enemy did invade, whether they came down onto the airfield, runways which have been over there, or maybe they're approaching from the road. They could have come down into this concrete machine gun pit, which as you can see, it's just an old piece of sewerage pipe. That's what they'd use. At least this is what I think it is anyway. Um, all very interesting. So yeah, it's all part of the defense of the airfield. Now, the airfield itself was defended in many ways. They had barrage balloons, they had the RAF regiment that were posted um, near Stockley enclosure up there, up top of the road on the corner there. And there would have been uh, anti-aircraft guns along the Limington Road, mobile Bofors positions they were. And that concrete pipe we just saw is just part of part of the things they would have put in place to defend this area. Now back at Hawkill Enclosure, this is the bomb store for the airfield. What I just want to say, what we've just seen over on that barrow, I can't 100% say it was a machine gun pit, but based on what I've seen on other New Forest airfields, it would certainly make sense. I can't see why else you'd dig a piece of sewerage pipe onto the top of a Bronze Age barrow on the side of an airfield overlooking a road, unless it was for defensive purposes. Now, what I said at the start of the video was just to explain why I haven't done many videos recently. And the reason being, over the last few months, I've been working really hard on getting an exhibition together about Beaulieu Airfield. That's going to be in June, over a weekend, over a long weekend, and I'll be showing photos, research, lots of historical items, and even some video and film of Beaulieu Airfield from during the war that you won't have seen before. So I hope you can make it. If you want to find out more details about that, just go to rfbeaulieu.co.uk and there's a link to the exhibition on the homepage. Other than that, I'm going to try and get some more videos done over the next couple of months. So hope to see you soon. Mm -hmm.